YouTube, this is Guy here from Guitar Lessons of Sarasota. What we're going to do today is talk about the Zoom Editor software. And at first, the software is kind of a pain, as is the manual. Um, I don't recall reading anything in the manual that really describes how to use this software. So I figured I'd go ahead and make a little tutorial on how to get the most out of it. The most aggravating thing about this is getting to select one of these to change and the, there's a little trick to it you want to drag your cursor directly over the name of the effect and I don't know if you can see it but once you get to the spot that you want it to be there's two little arrows that appear that means that you're okay to go ahead and click on it like that and it opens up so you can select again so for this the name of the effect is room put the cursor over it those two little arrows appear hope you can see it all right then you can click on it and change scroll through here click on any effect that you want so it's kind of a it's kind of a cool little editor the biggest pain is actually being able to select the unit once it's up here in your actual patch so through my time of frustration with this thing I discovered you just scroll your cursor over the name of the effect in this case it's distortion plus scroll the cursor over it two little arrows appear now let's try another effect alright let's try the dyna flange now this one's aggravating but now that you know this, just cursor over, see those arrows, you're good to click on it. Alright, so if you have any questions, you can hit me up, www.guitarlessonsarasota.com. Hope this was helpful.